All right, we back out here, ain't we, Joe Collins? We are. All right. We're going to see what we got. We're going to see what we got. We see a, we see something moving over here. Man, I was over there checking traps all the way on the other side of the pond. And my dad said, Joey, who's that at your truck? And there's some car over here. Man, I hightailed it back over here to the truck. I thought somebody was about to grab all my stuff out of the back and take off with it. All my trapping stuff in the back of my truck. And we're right here on the highway. And this place around here, they grab anything that ain't tied down. But that's the only spot that I can park and get to this area. So he seemed like a nice guy though. He just said that he had done some fishing here before <clears throat> and didn't have permission. He was honest with me. That says a lot. Uh, said he didn't have permission to hunt here. That he normally just uh, stops. He's, he said he has stopped here a few other times to fish. So I can't blame a guy for trying to find a good spot to fish. But kind of need to make sure that you're doing it on property you have permission to be on. He said that the gate's always been open. He said that the gate's always open. So he thought that it was open. But... I told him that I was just here to trap beavers. I had permission by the landowner to be here. And that I don't have nothing to do with people fishing or other people being on this property. But he uh, he left and we shook hands, whatever. But whenever something like that happens, just keep a cool head about you. You don't know what they're doing. You, they don't know what you're doing. So just ask Ask the right questions, get the names and everything, and just be cordial. You ain't gotta start jumping a gun and all this other stuff. But anyway, like I said, he seemed like a nice guy, and he's gone. So I'm walking back over here to get my traps. We reset that uh, 330 that we caught that beaver in on Sunday afternoon. I just reset it. Don't look like nothing else has come through here, but I just made it over to another trap when that dude showed up in my truck. So let's go see what's in my other trap. All right, we're back out here, ain't we, Joe Collins? We are. All right. We're going to see what we got. We're going to see what we got. We see, a, we see something moving over here. Guys, that's a, that is another beaver right there, let me tell you. Another big one too, Joy. That is another big one. I'm telling you, that's a big one. Woo. Wow. That is a big one. How about that? It don't look as big as the last one. He, he ain't grown, though. But he big. My dad here with me again. Yeah. So we happy to have it, man. A beautiful evening, too. Beautiful evening out here on the water. But we got more to reset. These were the ones. There was two left after we caught that big one on Sunday. There was two traps left that were not triggered. And this is one of them. The other one was still fine. But this is one that finally caught something. So I'm going to get him taken care of. We're going to get it reset. We're going to move on down the road. There's the sign of our quarry right there. Spotted by the one and only animal spotter, Joe Collins. That's where I get it from. So what is that going across the water out there? That's a big old beaver, guys. There's you another shot of it right there. See, you can see that beaver's head from here. I ain't gonna shoot him because I got a highway out there. And then because there ain't no need in wasting a bullet on him. When, him in a trap. when he's gonna be in my trap in just a couple of days. <laughs> Alright guys, we're back to normal conditions now. Uh, the last time y'all saw us here was on Sunday. And it is uh, Tuesday now. So, we're back at it. I'm gonna reset my trap. And... One's been up here since we, wow, 
One has been here since uh, all that rain. How about that? How about that? Well, ain't no use in crying about it. Just gonna reset it. There's my trap. We're gonna get it reset. All right, guys, these videos are gonna be short and sweet because I'm trying to beat the light. So they were coming up. The one that came up here, you can see his tracks. You can see his slick. All right, he came up all along that bank. And it got eroded with all that rain. And I put two, some rocks right there to kind of make him come up that channel right there. You can see where he kind of slid off right there in the grass, but I'm hoping that he's just going to come up right there where my trap's at. Now we're going to walk over here. Yeah, I mean, you can see where he where he slid over here. We're going to walk over here and see what's in my trap. Or Oh, daggum, look at that. Hey, I got another one. How about that, guys? I didn't even see that there. Didn't didn't even see that. How about that? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. So I'm over here fooling with that trap right there, and I didn't even and mate, remember this was washed away. This was washed away. Look at that joker right there. I can't believe it. Can't believe it. Oh, Joe Collins, good luck. Hey. Man. hey. We just good old country boys. We get excited about catching stuff. Yeah, it don't take much. How about that? Yes, sir, George. I'll come get it. Wait a second. All right, guys. Pretty sure this beaver is over 50 pounds. This guy got to be pushing 60. But this is the first one that I caught. One I just caught a few minutes ago. And then that one. I mean, you could tell. You can see the difference. You, man, y'all can see the difference right there. But, I mean, look, look at the size difference in the body. I'm telling you, bro. That there's so old, he done wore all his teeth yeah, out. Yeah, this one ain't hardly got any teeth. Very little teeth. Anyway, I got four more I got to check, and I'm running out of light, so I got to go. I wanted to show y'all that. Hi right, guys, <clears throat> we going up the creek now. And, buddy, something I just spotted. Look at that right there. That right there, I guarantee you, is a den of some sort. Probably an otter den, since there's otters up here. And I'm not trying to find an otter out here right now. Because I've already been, and there's the tracks. sun's gone down I really wanted to come out here and see if I called anything and to at least see if I could reset my my sets but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to I know I'm not gonna be able to reset the conner bear because I had those two gentlemen come up <clears throat> while I was trying to take care of the first beaver and got me all messed up. Okay, there's the log that has my, okay, there's my conner bear right there. So I know I can't reset it. That's fired. I know I can do about that. I left the setters back here at the first daggum trap because I was fooling with people that were driving up. Fresh beaver tracks, trying to remember where where my other sets are, they're up here. I'm just hoping and praying an angry otter don't come out of these banks somewhere wanting to fight. We're gonna see, we're gonna see. So this is where another set was at. I don't see any fresh tracks, but this one, to my knowledge was, look at that. So that would have caught something. Look at the motor tracks right there. That would have caught something if my trap was working. But there's my other, I remember now. There's my other one. And it, it got snagged. 
And then the last one is right there. I don't see nothing in it. But it would have... Man, there's just fresh, fresh tracks all over the place back here, guys. I don't see nothing in it, but it definitely would have caught something if uh, it was active. And guys, it's getting dark. I can't see hardly in there. I'm not about to step off this water in this water to look for my trap. It was right there. I know that. Let me walk down here real quick, just see. Let me just go down here and see. Three minutes, my video's been going for three minutes. All right, fresh tracks. Ugh. Man, we gotta come back here and set, set more on this creek, guys. This creek is where it's at. This is where they're moving. Okay, I'm gonna try and get across the bank right here, see if I can fish for my 330. Not my 330, uh, 750. The track that was over here was a 750. And we we're running out of daylight fast. I don't see nothing. All right, there it is right there. There it is right there. And I didn't catch nothing but trash. Nothing but mud and trash. Oh, it wasn't even went, it didn't even go off yet. It went off just then, but it had a bunch of mud in it. All right. Guys, with well, this one, I'm gonna pause the video real quick and I'm gonna reset it because there's tracks going in and out. I'm gonna reset this real quick. All right, guys, y'all see it. Lights are out. Oh, I tried to reset that, uh, oh, that, uh, 750. But I couldn't because it was packed with mud. I was running out of daylight. And all that back here is packed with potholes and everything. And I didn't want to lose daylight coming back. And I just want to be able to do it and not be rushed. So we pulled two more out of here. That's three total. And one being our biggest one off of this creek right here. And we saw that one in the pond. There's tons of sign up this creek right now. So there's still plenty of them back here. So we're gonna get with the customer and see what uh, he wants to do. And uh, see, if, see if he still wants me to keep coming out here to catch some more. But uh, that's gonna wrap it up guys. We did a quick uh, quick little series of videos. And uh, we're gonna come back out here and get at it again. But y'all be good. Tell them bye, Dad. See y'all later.